Welcome back to Camille's Kitchen. Today we're doing pie crust. You can use this as in a sweet dessert or in a pot pie recipe. Here we just went in with one cup of almond flour, three tablespoons of coconut flour, one teaspoon of xanthan gum, and a half teaspoon of salt. We blend that in the food processor for a couple of seconds just to mix it well. We just went in with a half of cup of unsalted chilled butter, already cubed up, and one ounce of softened cream cheese. Now it's very important that your butter is cold or frozen. As you see the crumble texture that it gives the dough. We're now going in with one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and one large egg. We're going to pulse this together so it can come together and bind. Once you get it incorporated very well, we're going to put it in this bowl and we're going to chill it for one hour refrigerated. Now this is so that the butter that's in the dough will make sure your dough stays flaky. So we have to make sure your dough is cold at all times. Now, we don't want to melt the dough by overworking the dough. So here we're going to put it in some saran wrap and just refrigerate it for one hour. Once it's refrigerated, we're going to take a portion of it, put it in our tortilla press for our small ramekins. Now, this is for um, any kind of dessert or it can be for your pot pie. This crust is versatile. As you see, we didn't add any sweeteners or anything in this crust. So this is a crust that can be used for many different things. After we chill the dough, we take the dough out, we put it in our ramekin, and we form it. Now, if you're doing it as a pot pie, a small pot pie, you'll want to put your filling in first at the bottom. And then you will put the crust on top to make the pot pie. In this case, what I'm showing you, you can use this as if you was doing a keto uh, pumpkin pie, keto pecan pie, whatever it is, whatever your preference is, this crust can be used for that. 